So we are on day two of our declarations. And uh, remember that we've got 14 days of prophetic declaration. And so let's get right into it. I'm dealing with a prophecy by uh, Dr. Jonathan Davids. And this is what he says. <clears throat> get ready, S.A. Get ready for what is about to happen, says the Lord. The men I am going to choose are set apart for the rebuilding of the nation. I'm telling you, this is so exciting, folks. God has got people in store and ready to restore our nation. God says, men have plundered the house and have stolen the goods. Essential for ruling and reigning. In South Africa, men are doing illegal things under legal pretenses. God is saying that he is going to crush that. Even as many, uh, as many souls rise uh, to ravage the body of Christ in South Africa, God is sending the power of the Spirit of God into the nation. God is giving, uh, sorry, God is going to break the corruption. I'm telling you, these are incredible prophecies and we need to take note of this and call it in, into our lives and say, God, raise the men that is going to turn the tide. God's promise is he has men ready and they're going to be released into our nation. Those who say that it's illegal to do evil will have no power, uh, will have, uh, sorry, those uh, that said it's legal to do evil will have no power to do it. God is not going to allow them to commit evil against, the, uh, against any racial group either. The body of Christ has a major role to play. God is going to dismantle the works of the enemy. There will be no political party that can rally against what is happening. It will suddenly arise beyond political decision. So in other words, righteousness is going to stand up strong in our nation. And it says that the church has a major role to play. Remember this, if the church does not pray and call these things in, God is not going to move. South Africans of every color will join forces. A people movement that is going to keep the enemy out and push the evil out. Get ready, South Africa. I believe that God is going to raise up the army of God in our nation. This is not about church. It's not about color. It's not about race or creed. It is about the body of Christ. And we can understand what it is to bring the kingdom of God onto this earth and demonstrate it. All right. The body of Christ has a major role to play. More people who serve and know the Lord will enter parliament. Healed, delivered, and set free. So they're going to go there and there's not going to be a stronghold or a foothold for the devil to get hold of them. <clears throat> I see people being healed, delivered, and being set free. I see corrupt men fleeing the nation because the law is going to resist them. The Lord says that, they will, that this will not be another Zimbabwe. South Africa will be a new nation and new things are about to happen. It's time to rise. South Africa will rise again. The economy will be turned around, become stronger, and the wealth of the nations will not be found in the pockets of the wicked, but rather it will be shared to all communities that will rise. The Spirit is saying, I raise the nation by myself. I will push out the powers of the enemy. The sound of my voice will be carried into the entire continent of Africa. Zechariah chapter 6, verse 6 to 8. The enemy will be afraid because the Cape of Good Hope will not be the place of destruction. So let's just leave it there. I want you to see that God is preparing and always has. Whenever something comes onto a nation, he always prepares those that carry the anointing and the ability to deliver it. And I want us to be encouraged. God is raising up men and women in this nation to be able to carry the mantle and to be able to stand for righteousness and to turn back any evil plan. God has got our nation in the palm of his hand and he's going to do something miraculous for each one of us. So saints, I want to encourage you. Do not fall for the devil's tricks. Do not fall for the devil's lies. Know that Jesus Christ is alive and that he has a plan for South Africa. Do not be discouraged. 
Know that when we pray, God has got men prepared to sit down and turn this around. So don't look at the nation as it is right now and say we don't have leadership, we don't have this, we don't, we don't see the light. I promise you God has said he has got men and women prepared to do this. When the season is right and the time is right and the church is praying, I'm telling you right now, God is going to release them and this nation will be turned in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So this morning, when we come around the table, let us thank God that he's got a plan. He has not forgotten South Africa. He has not forgotten you. And he has promised that this will never be another Zimbabwe. All right. God has said that this nation has got a plan and a purpose in the continent. And the church of Jesus Christ is praying. As long as we pray, evil cannot prevail in Jesus name. On the night that Jesus betrayed, he took bread and broke it. He said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. He took the cup and he said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical and emotional healing. <coughs> and the blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection and provision. So let's pray together. Lord, we ask you right now to forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, action, motive, intention. Lord, I ask you please to wash us white as snow. And Lord, as we stand holy and righteous before you, God, I pray right now that we will understand and we will see your deliverance in our nation. Lord, I thank you that we can get a revelation of who you are, what you are doing, what your plans and purposes are for our lives. And Lord, right now, I thank you for a supernatural move of your spirit in our nation. Lord, that we will not be the same again. And Lord, I thank you that we can trust you for a supernatural intervention in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together, saints. Lord, we come before you this morning. Lord, we release the dunamis power of God over our physical bodies. We command every single symptom of sickness to leave us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, that the Spirit of God that dwells inside of us quicken our mortal bodies and we are healed. Lord, we release the power of God, the dunamis power of God. And I thank you, Lord, that we walk in divine healing and divine health in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, saints, I am just so excited. When you read the prophetic words and you read what God has in store, what excites me the most is God has a plan. God has a plan. So we're going to pray over that right now. Father, right now, I thank you that you are preparing those men that are going to, men and women that are going to change our nation. Lord, restore it to the original plan and purpose that you had for us. Father, we pray that you will just raise them up in Jesus' name. Lord, that they will carry the anointing, the power, and the authority needed. Father, I thank you that you love us so much, that you care for us. And Lord, that you are bringing the victory into our nation. And Lord, I thank you that you have promised that this nation will not be like Zimbabwe. God, that we have hope. And Lord, that the body of Christ is standing up. And Lord, that as we stand and pray, Lord, that we will raise a barrier against any evil work in our nation. Father, we thank you for your blessing. And we thank you for the anointing of God that rests on each and every one. In Jesus' name. Everybody said, Amen and Amen. <clears throat> All right. I want to remind you that tonight we've got guest speakers on. All right. We have a battery of, of guest speakers every single night until the 8th. Okay, so from the night, we'll go back to our normal uh, schedules. But right now, I want to deal with our declaration. All right, as we pray, believe God for every st statement. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, Policies and rules changed. Battles won that I did not have to fight. All because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. So saints, I want to encourage you. Go out with might. Go out with valor. And go and do what God has called you to do. In Jesus' mighty name.